Lisenda Paluzzi for analysis on the situation. She's a professor of economy at the University of Barcelona. Thank you very much for speaking to France at 24, Professor. Now, this entire scenario is riddled with uncertainty, but Spain's tourism tech sector seems to have already taken a hit. How do you think all this will impact the economy? Well, the, what we are witnessing is an economic campaign of threats. Uh, uh, it's the Spanish government that is threatening some firms uh, as facilitating the, uh, their moving of their, of their legal sieges. It is also an active campaign of boycotts that, has, that are led by Spanish um, consumers against Catalan products. So all of, all, all of this is not about independence. It's about the reprisals of a Spanish society and government that do not accept to negotiate the independence in a, in a civilized and democratic manner. So the war is not about the uncertainty of the transition, not about independence itself. Catalonia is a, is a society, is an economy that is richer than the European average that has its own means to, to, to survive uh, by, by itself and that has a lot, a lot of firms. We are talking about 500 firms moving only the legal sieges, but the Catalan economy has 600,000 firms. 600,000 firms are a lot. So we are, we are talking about a tiny minority of a movement that is quite tactical and that has been imposed by the Spanish government in, in these la last days. So pensions, uh, once the Catalan uh, Republic is, pro is uh, declared and um, the Catalan government can, st uh, can start collecting um, its own taxes, there is not a problem to pay our pensions. Uh, before that, the Spanish government is obliged by international law and by its laws to continue to pay the Catalan pensioners because as long as they don't recognize Catalan independence, uh, they are obliged to, to, to don't do default. Otherwise, it's them, it's the Spanish state that would be doing default, and it's the Spanish economy that would be affected in the financial market by doing something like that. It's just threats. It's just threats to prevent the government, the Catalan government, from doing uh, what the democratic mandate they have in parliament, both in parliament and from the Catalan referendum of self-determination, that is a clear democratic mandate to do independence. Professor, you've just talked about both tensions and uncertainty that Catalans face. The big question here is we're clearly at a political impasse. Why is there no external mediation? Uh, well, the, uh, what the President Puigdemont did on the October the 10th was appealing for international mediation and for dialogue with the Spanish state. But the Spanish state, the international mediators have said that they can only mediate if the two parties want to sit in the table. Up to now, only the Catalan government uh, wants to sit in the table. The Spanish side of the negotiation do not want to recognize, do not recognize Catalonia as a political subject. Uh, so this but is Professor, this was against uh, the Spanish constitution that the Catalans themselves signed up to, is it not? Well, uh, there are some interpretations of Spanish constitution that says that in the Spanish constitution, Catalonia is declared as a people, and we all know that all peoples have the self-determination right. It is written in the UN chart and in the Covenant of Civil and Political Rights approved also by Spain in 1966. So all independences, all recent independence, most of them have been realized not in accordance to local law, to constitutions, but in accordance to international law, or at least not violating international law. We have plenty of decisions, for instance, of the International Court of Justice of The Hague regarding the Kosovo case that established that the declaration of independence of um, Kosovo was not violating, was not against international law. Independence uh, sometimes is more a matter of fact than a matter of right. And what the Catalans have done is to do everything democratically, with, always with a democratic mandate behind them from, uh, behind them from the Catalan people. With Professor Elisenda Paluzzi, thank people. you for speaking to us uh, from Barcelona on that referendum, which was very much not in line with EU regulations. And moving on, in other